So howdy who YouTube. Whoops. Oh wait. Default. Customize. Let me see. Find with that. Find with that. 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 All those. The only things I want to change. I want to do standard. I want to do sort assured because I haven't done this in forever and that's probably good. Let me see heart speed off a random normal blue all good to me. Save raw. I guess I could technically just load the ROMs from the download folder, but eh, I don't like that. Not sure why I don't like that, because it really makes literally no difference. So real quick, I want to, I'm just paranoid about chat now. Okay, that worried me. Nightbot took a second. And I was like, oh god, it is broken. But nope, I can see Nightbot, so we're all good. Let me see, load game. Link to the past. Yippee. Let's play a game. Oh. I meant to move this. Hold on. There we go. I was talking about the layout. I was like, I need to move the, uh, the stream boss because that's where the health is. I remember that. We are a fool, so we are a clod. Also because cloudy doesn't fit. I can't tell what that is. Should I have tweeted it out? I'm not sure. Chasing tail fly ladies do not follow. That's fair. I don't have the slightest clue what I'm playing as is. All right, we got the lantern. At least I don't have to worry about dark areas. Also, for the record, I hit the wrong button to open a chest, so I clearly remember what I'm doing with this. Triangle's map. Oh yeah. Crystals in Light World. Not the best. Okay. Start for the items. Back do anything? Alright, back does that. That's important. That was a weird... The emulator hitched right there, which is odd because usually it doesn't. I got real worried when those bombs popped up, by the way, that I had somehow fucked up doing Sword Assured. Alright, garbage. Also, we are not finishing this run, by the way. That is just not gonna happen tonight. It's been how long since I've done this? Oh, maybe I should have done Spyro. Oh well. So I swear I want to get better at that again. Then again, I feel like every time I've taken a break and come back to it, I've come back to it way better than I was, so... Eh. Maybe I am better at it. Maybe the longer I don't play it, the better I get. I disagree with that hit. I'm gonna die, god. Please help. Alright. Also, I don't have the slightest recollection about item counts in any of the dungeons. I remember when I was last doing this, I was like, that should be the next thing I work on learning. And then I, one, didn't. And two, don't remember the little I did learn. I know this has quite a few, uh unique items though light world in general doesn't except for I think I think Eastern's got one or two Oops, I need to kill you dear god no 
Uh guess who's rusty? Yeah, yeah. That hurts me. I'm gonna say this, but just in case anyone says something in chat, I don't react to you. Why is the emulator having troubles? I've never had troubles with this emulator. No! Don't suddenly throw that at me. But, uh, if someone says something in chat... Oh, howdy who waffle. Okay. You put my fears to rest. I was gonna say, and I don't react to you, yell at me in Discord because that means my chat is broken, but... Okay. We good. We good. How you doing, awful? Pretty dang all right. Nice. Ow. I'm doing pretty good. It was about time for finals for the college, though. And with that and the fact that we aren't having in-person classes, I think I'm going to be busy the next couple weeks. But after that, things will be good. Case, in case anyone didn't notice me saying it in Discord, also, I don't know how many streams there's going to be this weekend and next weekend, because of those finals and whatnot. But, you know. Oh, give me health, please. Is that midterms? Colleges are weird. Yeah! Mine's like a quarter system, so... I'm going to have finals, then spring break, and then immediately after that, the next quarter starts. Which is, uh, interesting. And then I think I have, like, two months off, and then fall starts. So this college just is constantly going. But yeah, but yeah. The the other reason I'm not, I have no idea about my schedule is that we were going to do a a uh, a group presentation in one of my courses, and uh, now that there aren't in person classes for the rest of the quarter, we don't know what we're going to do instead. So. My professor did email me saying that he was going to have what we're going to do instead th thought of and sent out tomorrow, so hopefully I can find out soon. But, you know. I'm going to be upset if that if what he chooses is to bump up the final essay page length back to where it was. I was so happy when it got lowered. It's been so long since I've actually seen the layout of this place, why not? Remembered this chest though. Ooh, I'm like teal. I like that color. That's a good color. Uh, so, so much of the sewer looks the same. I have trouble remembering if I've done the thing or not. I think it's this room. Okay, yeah. I was like, I know in one of these rooms I have to kill the rat for the key. I was worried I had passed it. Alright, besides the, uh, the super avoidable death I took because I'm bad at the game now, uh, actually not doing too bad. I haven't forgotten anything yet that I know of. 
clearly if I forgot it. I don't know, though. Alright, I have... Blue Tunic, which is nice, because I'm sucking. So anything that makes the game easier is nice. I have Flippers, which is good. Because that'll probably be required. I have... Uh, the Lantern's not bad. At least now I don't have to worry about... Oops, you went to a dark room and can't go through because you can't see. Like some kind of frog thing, I think. No, that's right, you guys don't heal me yet. I have to, like, leave and come back. The map for the dungeon I just left. Classic. God, it's 6.30. Didn't realize how late it was. Shantae took a lot longer than I thought then. I thought it was still close to like 530. Oops. I'm a little upset I didn't think about how I would probably finish Shantae tonight. Because I rem I remember thinking, man, I'm close to the end of the game last last time I played it last week. I should probably have just done a different mode in it. Like that pillow fight mode that's apparently in it? That that definitely got my attention. Pizza Heart, who cares? Yeah, I think that Shantae kind of suffered just because I think it was crowdfunded, which means it kind of came out of parts and a lot of it was kind of like extra. Hey, we've reached that stretch goal. Instead of kind of making it one big cohesive thing, but eh. I don't remember if that's true. Yo, the bow! Hell yeah! Alright, I don't have to worry about that this playthrough, which is nice, because usually I do. So I'm not gonna get, like, the gauntlets or something I'm super used to having, and I'm gonna be very confused. Oh! Well, I got them! Um... So, the game probably won't get me either Moon Pearl or Mirror, then. There's some other item that I usually get super early that I can't think of right now. That I usually get lucky. Maybe the hookshot? No, something else. I know there's something that I always got. That every time I don't, it throws me off a lot because I forget. Okay, pop down there. Cane. I'll take that. That's not required, but it'll be helpful because I'm gonna suck at most of the bosses. Alright, one of the big rupee stashes. That's also nice. That means I can buy the bottle. Or the thing from Bottle Guy. Watch me not remember any of the sliding block puzzles, because I'm dumb. Hey, the mirror! I don't usually get that very early. Take it. I'm I'm never gonna find the moon pearl then. It is hidden somewhere. Somewhere disgusting. Or it's somewhere super close by and I'm just gonna forget about it. That is actually way more likely, I feel like. This is going to be the easiest seed ever generated, and I'm going to fuck it up because I don't remember what I'm doing. Is what this is gonna be. Maybe the hammer. Maybe the hammer is what I'm thinking of that I usually have. It's gonna throw me off that I won't get. Or the flute. Not an ocarina. Flute. 
ignore the fact that it looks exactly the same, and I think in the Japanese version is an ocarina, and they just translated it for, into a flute for dumb Americans. Let's forget that I can't go around the top right there. I have to go around around the top. Uh, I thought that was my fourth one. Um, let me see... House Grandma is at Chicken House. Usually forget this. The pearls in here. I'm gonna be so proud of myself for remembering. Damn it. Hmm. Also, if I'm starting this at 6:30, that means I have about two and a half hours to beat it, and I've never gotten, I think, even close to doing that. So we'll see about that one. I don't think I can beat regular Link to the Past in two and a half hours. I know that randomizers could technically be faster if you get lucky, but still. I uh, don't have the hammer, so definitely can't do that. Be able to either way if I didn't have the magic powder. I should see what's up here. If I can get in the door. Pizza Heart. Who cares? I do want pizza. Should have done that today. Was ju just grab that one. There, there's a pizza place. I know I've said it a lot. There's a pizza place by my college that has like a deal for students. Where it's like five bucks for a slice of pizza and a soda. I keep saying I'm gonna go there, and then I just don't. I still keep meaning to go there. I should've done that today. Oh, bottle. It was actually kind of worth doing. Not by a ton, but you know. I still don't know if I've ever... F I don't remember ever finding anything important right there for a randomizer. Perhaps one day. <laughs> Can I complete desert? I have the bow and... Oh, I need the boots. Probably. I guess I might not need the boots. Oh, I do need the book to get in. I don't know what this thing is, but it's pretty cute. Oh wow, I'm almost dead. Maybe I should have heart sounds on. Just... I haven't played in a little bit. Damn it, I tried to throw it up. I whiffed. Game over, yeah! Uh, the house... You... The more I think about it, the more I really should have done Spyro. So I think I have actually beaten Spyro. I don't think I quite got to two and a half. Ah, uh, it's kind of squirtly. You know, it was a darker color at first. It might have been War Turtle because I think War Turtle more has the uh, the head flap ear things. So maybe. Play while clicked out. Yes, I can. Uh huh. So, ah, look, the penis. I realized I was kind of being dumb. I can look up all the different sprites. It's just hard to do well going through all this. Ooh, the red tunic. All right. That is definitely not a Squirtle evolution. That final one. Uh, where is it? Shit. Resources, game options, updates, sprite options. There it is. 
I'm like, I know there's somewhere where I can just take a look at the list of sprites. Yeah, just bombs. It's just gonna be hard to do that while running through. I can kind of play off of OBS, but yeah, it's just too big of a gap between that and the next screen. Don't remember how many items are over here, but I'm gonna look. I think there's one. I think there's one and I can look up the cliff, but I still always come over here because I'm dumb and not that great at this. And just a red ruby. In fact, I think most of the time I forget about the item up here, which means there's no point to doing this, but I remember this time at least. Sassafras's cave. Or no, this is, uh, is this? This is someone's cave. Sassafras is the other one. Oh, don't talk to him. That'd be silly. Magic powder! That'll be useful if I get the hammer, it'll give me one more item. Or if I get the butterfly net, then I can get, uh... I guess even without the butterfly net, it can still turn things into fairies and I can heal with that. But if I get the butterfly net, then I can also store the fairies. There's one where it's just Link without the head. Kinda creepy. But also, might, might be irritating as a sprite, because I don't think any of the sprites actually change your hitbox. So if it's just Link plus or minus a little bit, that might be visually confusing. in here. Itch. I don't know if I knew that I could do that because I've seen someone else do it, or if I just realized it on my own. I probably saw someone else do that. Because apparently that's a glitch and you aren't really supposed to be able to do it. Shovel. Alright, that's one more freebie item. And the flute. Alright, should head back to town at some point. I also keep thinking my uh, attack range is a little larger than it is. And that's throwing me off a little. Alright, Titan's Mitts, nice. Giant Gloves, or whatever the better version is. So I'm still missing the Pearl, the Hammer, the Hook Shot. Kind of the main progression items I can think of right now. As far as really open up a lot of stuff, I still need both the Fire Rod, the Ice Rod, and the am at least one Amulet. In the book and boots. There's still quite a few things I need. As far as just like main, this will open up a ton of shit. It's the pearl and the hammer. 
Oh, I've gone too far left. Yeah, you best fuck off. Let's see, up there is 50 rupees, so... I also don't think I've ever had to care about that island, which is nice, because it's annoying to get to. Well, it's not super annoying. It's something I would forget very easily. Alright, I don't know why the game is occasionally hitching like that. Maybe I just have too many things open right now. Entirely possible. So I've got, I've got more open than I usually do right now. I usually have... A fair few things open. Bombs, who cares? I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to go back to town. I'm going to play the flute. And then, and then I'll, I'll go shovel up what's usually in the flute spot. Just because that's kind of close. If I had the boots, I could do King's Tomb, but I don't. I will say, what's nice about, uh... How did I get the flute? Am I insane? Oh, no. Silly me. Okay. I forgot how this worked. I forgot that if you have the flute and the shovel, because you usually, in the base game, you use the shovel to get the flute. They are the same spot. Oh. I was... so confused. I still have not found what sprite this is. I'm afraid I've passed it. No, I don't think it's... It, is it Squirtle? It might be Squirtle. I don't think it was. That looks off. The color was right. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I think that is Squirrel. I think Ross is right. The only thing is that the Squirrel Sprite doesn't have the the ear things. I I don't know. I feel like it was there when I started, before I got the blue tunic, but I got that so early on, I'm not sure. Let's see, it's one of these tiles up here. I always forget which one. There it is. Alright, not worth doing. Okay, I'm trying to get an idea of where all... Alright, that doesn't super open up anything in Light World. I can do... I can do... Uh, Death Mountain. But I think I could do that anyway, because I have the gloves, so... What am I doing up here? Nothing useful. I could technically get, you know, whatever the hell, uh... Well, not what King Zora has, but what's on the cliff right next to him. Whiffed. I could also get whatever's in the Waterfall Cave, if that's in Light World. I always forget where exactly that is. I think it is. Could be wrong. But what I can also do is just this dungeon. And I have to do it, so I don't see a reason to put it off. There's also a couple items Sassafras has behind him. There were three. 
my brain was thinking there were three, but then another one was like, no, it's two, and then he's holding one. I don't like it when I look up, because the back part of the shell looks like a face, and that kind of creeps me out. I will say, this is weird doing this dungeon first and being able to complete it already. Both because usually you don't ha I feel like fairly often I don't have to. I usually don't have the bow until super late or the lamp. It's weird in a randomizer to do the first thing you usually do in the game. I guess I shouldn't complain about that and I should try and grab a little extra rupees. Because the sooner I get the 500, the sooner I can check off King Sora and the item next to him. And I'm close already. If I wasn't close, I would just wait until I found like a 300 stack or whatever I would end up finding first. Minded that heart. Do I have magic powder? I need to remember that so I can get rid of those anti fairies. I might have already found all the unique items in here, besides maybe the boss. Well, the boss will just have a item, so there might be one more unique item. So I think there's only two or three. Most of the, uh, most of the light world dungeons are kind of shit about having unique items for randomizers. So I feel like fairly often you kind of don't want to have to complete them. It's a double-edged thing. They're a lot faster to do than, like, any of the dark world dungeons. But at the same time... The reward for doing them is usually not great. So I guess it's less... I guess it depends more on where the other items are. If all the other items aren't in dungeons, then you want to do the Light World ones. But if they are in dungeons, then you want them... Then you don't want to do the Light World. Oh, it is so nice not doing this room blind. You, ne you never have to, but I tend to because I usually get here fr fairly early. Good thing I had a small key. Didn't even think about that. So there's a good chance the item over here is either the small key or the compass. Yo, what's up, Macho? How you doing? Hope your day's been good. Oh, you woke up. Got him. I have an item you don't think I should have. That's bullshit. That should work. Fuck you, game. Owie. Rude. The hammer! Hell yeah. Now if I had the Moon Pearl, I would be able to access the vast majority of the game, or at least the areas outside dungeons. Oh, that hut took two. Oh, you already woke up. Ah, oh, didn't make it. Don't remember if I have to kill you for any reason. I do. Ah, that's what you were going for. I knew you were goofing. 
did not immediately pick up on the reference, though. Alrighty. Now I can pay off King Zora. Uh, let's see. Fortunately, I do think that the boss here... Oh, well, doesn't matter. I have to kill the boss anyway. I was going to say, unfortunately, I think they don't have a unique item. It would be nice if they did, but... Again, gotta kill them anyway. Doesn't matter. Alright, that at least happened when my desktop background changed. I'm trying to pay attention and see if whenever the, uh... Oh god, I've got, like, no health. Let's see if whenever the desktop background changes, it hurts the emulator. Please stop. hearts I hopefully won't take too much damage from a uh... I think that might actually be it I feel like I find more hearts and whatnot by now and less actual items so I'll take the actual items even though I'm not playing this game great right now oops let's go a little too soon there forget you can fire the arrows super fast if you're actually close to whoever you're firing at. I've realized midway through that fight, which is nice because it sped it up. Alright. One-seventh of the uh, game required dungeons down. I can also do the thing at the blacksmith house. So let me do that just before I forget, because that is such an oddly spe that is such a specific set of items you need that I tend not to have that I will usually forget. Oh, I also need to talk to the kid with the the bug net usually because you get the item if you have the uh, a bottle. So I can get that. And then we'll go see King Zora. Give me your bat magic. Yay. Alright. Looks like we're kind of having leftovers, so I might take a quick break at some point. Go, uh... Go heat something up and shove in my mouth. Alright, uh, I need to go up, and not this house, but this house. I remember chicken house, but not bug net, kid. Hey, hey. alright, that could be important. So I can't do desert until I have the book. can do Hera. Because I have a ranged thing. Might be able to get away with Hera with just having bombs, but... I have the bow, and I have the hammer? I don't think you need the hammer. But I have it! So, you know, take that, Hera. I think this is the waterfall. Could be wrong. Please. Yay! I remember the right one. So give me this shit. Hey, the book! I can do desert. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the dungeons in the correct order. Because that might be the rarest thing in a randomizer of all. Owie. Owie again. I'll say I do wish I had the boots. Not exactly required at this point. Uh, 
I'll grab that pizza heart just because. Ba -da, ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, having the book also means I can get the things from the medallion pedestals. I don't think I can really meet, reach one yet. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I don't think I can because I think you need the master sword. And I don't have that. Usually I get a sword upgrade by now, too. A little odd. Maybe King Zora will have one. Eh. Not the worst thing I've paid 500 rupees for. There's one item I can't get in desert until I have the boots for, so you know what? I won't do the... Uh, I'm not going to do them in order. It is so tempting just to say I did, but I won't. Pata Pata. Still don't know why you can't just bird out of there, but fine. Need to go backwards a little for the old man. So I bet the reason they didn't give me the Moon Pearl early is just because I've finally completed a randomizer before. So they've stopped giving me super good seeds early on. Feels weird not to go to Thief Town by now. Usually that's like one of the first places I go. Just because I have the gloves and Moon Pearl. No, I didn't quite leave the screen there. So annoying. Which medallion do I have again? I think that's Bomb? Yo, thanks for the rupees, old timer. You saved my life! Here's five dollars. Oh, I... I can't do this. No, I can I use the Moon Pearl in Dark World? Without the I mean, can I use the mirror without Moon Pearl? I think I can. Okay, never mind. Confused. I realized I didn't have hook shot, so I can't go the way up the right. Oh, red cane. Alright, I need that. What's right here? Ooh, Master Sword. Grab that. Dangerous to go alone, take this indeed. Also, give me one of you. Thank you. I think I took two there. Either that or two decided to stack on top of each other and fly exactly the same. Yeah, wait. Usually I have the boots for that tunnel. Weird to just walk through it like that. I always forget that the way to the item right there is not through, uh... Not through falling down right there. It is through here. So they just had to put railing right there so you can just jump down. Dicks. Death Mountain sucks. Probably the least annoying in Ocarina of Time, I want to say. I'm going to throw it out there. I think this sprite looks more pig-like than turtle-like. I get that it's got like a, uh, a shell on, but at the same time, the head and the top bit just seem piggy. Specifically like Bokoblin-y. That really would have been my guess, were it not for the shell. I uh, just remembered the boss here. I don't know why it took so long. Probably because I repressed the memory. At least I have the Master Sword for it, which will make it slightly easier. What? Face is creepy. I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. Assuming we're supposed to be Squirtle, I assume that is some other Pokemon, but I just can't tell. Oh, now I can do all the pedestals. 
Do I need the medallion for them, or can I just be like, I got a book and a sword? So I think it's how you get the medallions. Yeah! Nice! Cape? Alright. I feel like instead of hearts, I'm getting, uh... All the, all the more random items. The random crap ones that aren't exactly necessary. Alright, my background didn't change that time, so I still don't know what's causing that. Yes. Goodbye. Alright, there is exactly one unique item in here, but... A lot of the times I feel like you have to get everything else anyway, so we'll see. It's not exactly a lot of this dungeon. That's just, like, really skippable. Alright, that's the unique item. Everything else here is worthless. The item over there might actually be the, uh... The small key to get in there. I do have, I think, advanced logic, which I think allows that. Or no, I think I have the 100% item skippable on. I don't remember. We'll see. To be fair, whatever it is, unimportant. Because I got the one important thing in here. That was just a piece of heart. Or, not a piece of heart, but a heart piece. No. Heart container. There we go. That's the word. I think it's red down that I want. Yes. Aha! So I could get whatever's in there. It's probably not important. There are two unique items. See, right now I'm missing... Shit. I think there's two unique items. This. Woo! So I didn't get it there. Appreciate it. Hey, found it. Okay. Now I can ignore the dungeon. So the boss will either have the map or a compass. And the other item will be way down below, past, like, the flying tiles and whatnot. There we go. There's one more still alive, but whatever. Alright, let's see if we can beat this. Fuck. Wish I kind of knew the, uh, some of the enemy names better, the bosses. But, oh well. Damn it. So, if possible, I should try to hit him with the bow, because I think the bow will actually deal more damage than the sword. Oddly enough. At least I don't fire the lasers now, which deal minimum damage. Shit. One more hit, I think. The worst! Moldora, maybe? Might be the name? More like an asshole. Just notice that one of the sprites you can have is a sprite can. I really hope for the, uh... 
the the red tunic makes you into a Coke can, just cause. Blue could be Pepsi. Last hit. Hopefully. Better. One more afterward. Yes. He had the map, which means the compass is at the bottom. So I could do desert, but now that I think about it, I have the hammer, which means I should be able to get across here and access all the caves down here, which have a fuck ton of items in them. So we're gonna do that. And now we play the game of me just not remembering what caves I actually need to go in. I actually have things. All right, I'll bottle up there. If I get far enough I can get up there, that might be worth grabbing. That's quite a bit for now. Oh, all these caves look the same. And I can never remember which have shit. Emma. Probably go for another half hour, then stop and take, grab some food. Aha! This one did have stuff. It was the hook shot. That's a good thing to find. Let me see. If I remember right, of the Dark World dungeons, I can do Thieves Town, of course. Should be able to do Swamp, because I think you just need the flippers and the hook shot for that. I don't think I need to be in here. Uh, Eastern, I think you just need the hammer and, and the bow, which I have. Let me see. For, for Skullwoods, I don't have... don't have the fire rod yet. See, the only things important that I'm missing, the boots for a few items, the the fire and ice rods, and maybe some of the medallions and the moon pearl. Do you need that pearl dough? Because until I get that, most of Dark World is off limits. I could get past some things. I think this is a shop. But the only point to doing that would be to mirror to somewhere in Light World to grab items. Which there aren't a ton of spots like that. There's definitely a few. Okay, yeah. That is the shop. Did that one of the slowest ways I could have. I do also need the silver arrows at some point. You can, as always, you can technically beat Ganon without silver arrows, but that requires glitching. Glitching is not required with this specific seed, and also I don't know how to do that glitch, so I need silver arrows. There's the Quake Medallion. Or no, I don't see either. I don't know why I always think the lightning bolt is quake. 
for the record, I know that doesn't make sense, but I just swear that the game did that, and I was confused that it didn't make sense. And I was like, alright, I'll just have to memorize that lightning bolt is quake, and apparently I was wrong. I don't know how that happened. Alright, so I got the hook shot. Which I'll definitely need. Hmm. Light world is there. Uh, there's desert, and that's really the only thing I can think of still. Which is a shame, because again, I won't be able to get something in there, but it might just be like a small key or something that I won't end up needing. Yeah. It is nice getting flute super early. If I don't find the pearl in here, then a good chunk of this run is going to be me running around in dark world trying to, uh... I always forget, you have to interact after that. You're trying to run to places where you can veer back into light world. Which there aren't too many of, but it'll be hard to do. Because if I remember right, when you're like that, you can't even, like, interact with things. So it's not even like I can run around without dealing damage and try to get two items to pick them up because I just that won't do anything is there anything in here? no I feel like I rarely have to do this dungeon so I always get confused when I go into it I think I want you Take it. Pizza heart up there. Alright, that's not needed. Up here is the key room. Which I think it was under, apparently. Chichimi. Small key. Fantastic. I'm trying to remember what's off to the right that. I forget, you have to hit the button to leave, too. <sighs> I gotta see what's over to the right, because I don't remember. I think there's a, at least one chest over there. I can't help but feel that the odds are that it's just gonna be another small key. I shouldn't waste my time, but... No! Right up there, there's just nothing. It's just a bunch of enemies to fight, and you don't get anything for winning. Alright, there was... At least two chests. Alright, cool. In theory, it was worth coming over here, though. Because there were two items. Neither of them were a small key. So I guess I don't need a small key to go forward, or there's a small key I'm completely forgetting about here. And I managed to usually get through here, minus one key that you usually have, which is interesting. I wonder how I do that. One of the sprites is just one of the flying tunnels you can have, tiles you can have. That's pretty funny. I actually managed to get a decent amount of hearts without really noticing it. I don't remember. Ow! Tick! Stop it. Stop! That still hurts a lot, even though I have the best armor in the game. I don't remember what's up here. Well, I guess I was already hurt a little. That'd be why I don't remember. Right, I think it's just a red rupee down, so I'm not gonna bother. 
God, do I already have all the unique items? I'm only missing the map. There's the pizza heart that I didn't grab, which I guess technically I'm missing. That's, that's a full heart? God, fuck those things. This. I appreciate any of the tile rooms where you just need to find the key. You don't have to wait them out. It just takes forever. Somehow it didn't even notice me. Interesting. Oh, sorry. Like... I get one of the statues between me and it on accident. Must have. Yeah. Damn it. That... I was really hoping for the moon pearl here. Or the boots. Because at least the boots would have given me a few other spots to check. Might as well kill you. Because I can. Wait, that doesn't hurt you. I just forget you need to have fire to complete the desert. Alright. So this will be the compass, which is a damn shame. get the spin off, but I still did a little extra damage, which is nice. Oh, I wasn't close enough, no! Alright, got that one at least. For anyone wondering, the spin attack does deal extra damage. I'm not just wasting my time by doing it, I swear. Ah, uh, that feels so slow without the, uh... Oh, I had the compass. I thought I had the map. I got confused there. Okay... Hmm... <laughs> so now the game begins. Because, again, I don't think... Hey, new follow. Killer Wayne, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So if I remember right... I don't know why that tile is so specific. I don't think I can interact with anything in Dark World. I think I can, again, just use the mirror. So, somewhere... Go in! Go in! No, Trinity, right? We are going to see. This will be a nice quick test since I don't remember. Alright, yeah. So. Somewhere the Moon Pearl is either in a super fucking obvious spot I just forgot about. Oh god, I can't even use flippers. Okay. Uh, it is somewhere that I can veer to from Dark World. Or it's just lying somewhere in Dark World and I can just walk into it. I hate that rock. Usually they give some little indicator of stand here, stupid. While you warp back. Hey! First try! Found it! And now we can do Dark World. <sighs> well, whoops. Can't do that, Dark World. I could only think of a couple of places to look, so I'm glad it was there. 
because otherwise that probably would have gotten real annoying real fast. Yeah, okay. That makes this substantially easier. So I think the only necessary items I'm missing at this point are the fire and ice rods, um, and I guess just I silver arrows. And, and maybe Quake. I might need the Quake medallion. Depends on what I need to get into Turtle Rock and stuff. Alright, so the dungeons are... Uh, damn it, I have to do Ice Palace. Ugh, Turtle Rock doesn't have a crystal, but I might end up having to do it anyway. Alright, so I need to do Thieves Town, Misery Mire, Swamp, and Ice Palace. I would have loved if some of those were different, but I will try my best to roll with it. Technically, I should hope that it's not... Whenever I play this game, I should hope that Thieves Town isn't a required dungeon, because I don't think it's got... It might have the small... No, second smallest amount of unique items in Dark World, I'm going to guess. Because so I think, uh, I think Skull Woods might have less, though it's hard to say. They actually might be tied for last, at least. Alright, there's Fire Rod. So we're missing Ice Rod and maybe... Ice Rod, Silver Arrows, and maybe Quake. That's not bad at all. As far as shit I'm missing. Let's see, I can do... This. Oh! Idiot, you don't have the boots. You can't dash. That's why it's not working. I am dummy. Oh. Well. Might have been better to leave this for later since I didn't have the boost and there's plenty of places I could look besides it. But, eh, I'm already here. I already looked dumb by trying to dash over and over. Alright. Let me see. I don't have to do skull woods, right? Actually, I might not need Ice Rod because I don't need to do, hypothetically don't have to do Turtle Rock. So really, what I'm missing is Silver Arrows. But I can play like I don't need them until I do since Ganon tells you where they are. So what I'm going to do is just fucking rush the remaining dungeons. Because I might technically be go mode right now. Uh oh, I forgot to jump down. I'll grab all the items in these dungeons because I do need silvers. Alright, there's the ice rod. So, need, or need it or not, I have it, which is... I won't complain about. Alright, hello, sir. Monsieur Skeleton. Skeleton. Owie. I do not remember how many items Thieves Down has. The real question is, I'm... <laughs> is am I going to be able to get that one chest that I can never get? Because it's always got the key to it in it. Oh yeah, technically you need the hammer for that. So there is like, besides the gloves to get in, there is like one item that requires an item to get. Okay. Oh, okay. The guy, he was under the, uh, the bridge. I was going to be very upset that that slime on the bridge had hurt me. Yowie. 
It's also not required, but I'd happily take a better sword. God, I've forgotten how to do Thieves Town, which upsets me because it's like it was the dungeon I knew the best. Alright. I've also got about half of max health. Which could be better, could be worse. I'll take it though. The game is trolling me by the uh the crocodile guys being under the fly the sky bridges right where I happen to choose to walk. That didn't hurt me, but I'll take it. I also need to remember I do have the basic shield, so if someone hucks an arrow at me, I can just block it. Oh, I have blue cane. Let me see. Things that would be nice to have. Uh, I guess technically the better shields, but I really don't care about that too much. Uh, the better swords would be real nice. So would half magic. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Wrong red flying thing. I do already have the best armor in the game, which is really fucking surprising. So usually that's something I never end up getting. I feel like I get the blue tunic fairly easily, but God, why? Why you be mean? That should hurt him. Bullshit. Oh, I don't have to fight the stupid moth guy. That's nice. Unless he's got the silver arrows literally on him, but... I'll jinx myself and say the odds of that are extremely low. I'm gonna throw it out there. If he does, it will probably take me long enough to get there that I really won't notice, because I'll probably end the stream by then. Still bothers me you can't blow up any of these other cracked floor bits here. Like, there's no reason to, but just the principle of the thing, I feel like I should be able to do it. I should have been smarter about that, but oh well. Yep, ouchie. Oh, this is speedrunning, just eating as much damage as I can as I try and go through. No. Well, not mine. Some more health, though. small key, so no need to go through there. I'll save myself the potential damage and go back through here. Now you red fuck. other one, because it's got the thing. Hey, the boots! Alright. I can now go a little faster. Aha! I remembered you could do that. Oh, that's so nice! I feel so much faster! You're blind. You demand. Dick. Owie. Through. Bad at nuclear physics, I got no fishing. I 
I get that it's like nuclear fission, but just because it sounds close to fission? Is that the point of the pun? Who needs to cheese it with the cane? Oh god, the emulator paused for a second. I thought I had died somehow. Okay, I already had the compass. I forgot about that. So yeah, the small key was in that chest again. I never have to go in there. It's the most consistent thing about the randomizer. So next I'll do... I'll do Swamp, because then I'll run by Hype Cave, and we'll see what that got. I don't remember how many unique items Hype, uh, not Hype Cave, uh, Swamp has. Swamp might actually not be great to do. Okay, is that just like a free item over here? Oh yeah, it's the shovel game that you don't have to go through top. I'll definitely try and grab any miscellaneous items on my way there, just because hopefully at least some of the ones I'll find will end up being helpful, either like more health or... Maybe a better sword. Eh, bottle ain't bad. Especially a bottle full of, uh, useful things, like a green potion. But I still need to be on the lookout for silver arrows. I believe, uh, unless I need a medallion I don't have, that every dungeon is completable at this point. just what I have to do to find the silver arrows at this point. Three more pizza hearts to get a... I'm also trying to remember where one cave in this game is. I've never had to go in there, either in vanilla or in this randomizer. But it's like a really weird cave that you have to get to one of the outside bits of turtle rock. Uh, one of the like outside checkpointy path things. But you have to like jump down from there and there's a cave you can get to. And it's got like a couple items or just one or something. It's called Mimic Cave. I've never had to go in there. So I wouldn't be surprised if I had to now, since this seed has been so good to me. Yep. Not surprised. Actually, now that I think about it, I think most things left would probably be either trash... ...or probably hard pieces. There's... I can never remember how many full heart containers are in this game. Probably just like seven or so. But I think I've only found two. So. Might still be a decent chunk of them left. Those would be nice to find, but. You know. Five out of however many items are actually left. Especially if I'm going to be trying to skip, uh, dungeons. Actually, I should be really selective about the silver arrows, because the whole point of me trying to rush through everything left is the fact that in the randomizer, if you get to Ganon without them, he will tell you where they... He won't give, like... Specific, they're in this chest in this dungeon, but he will say, like, it's in Light World, it's in Dark World, it's in this dungeon. I think he'll specify dungeon if it's in one. So, 
so, you know. I can get to there. Walked into it. Control. Hey! Uh, one of the skulls. Yeah. I'm glad I remember where most of those asshole keys like that are. So boy, would this be a lot harder if I didn't. I'm trying to think if any of the shields would really be helpful after this point, and I don't think so. Getting the, uh, the second shield that deflects the fireballs is nice for blind, but I don't think of another boss where that's actually... where that actually blocks it. Um, real quick. Leave me alone. I knew this dungeon better, the amount of items, I would try to skip this, just because this eats some time and only gives a item. So if I knew the item counts better, I could know whether I could skip this if it's just like the map or compass or something. Alright, it was a unique item, so even if I did know, I would have checked that. So I could have gone up there, but I've already jumped down, so fuck it. Mm, no, that's something I... Oh, no, wait. Hold on. I want to jump down here first. To get the small key. Before I flood this little section. Yes! Yes! I accidentally did a smart! Because my voice cracks a little when I shout smart. I don't get to do it often. I got excited. I either jumped past that thing or I just barely timed that right. Either way, I'll take it. Oh, come on. And not a single boomerang was found. You can't trick me this time, game. I remember to swap that back. As nice as it would be to just keep that down and use the path it opens that way. It closes it off something else, so you gotta swap it back if you wanna grab everything. This game is a meanie. Fuck you, good skeleton. Fuck you, fake papyrus. You already the real papyrus. Real papyrus is an ice cave. We'll see him in a little bit. This is just like a heart or a ruby or something. Yep. Hey, a heart and a ruby. What do you know? It's like I know things. I don't. That was lucky. As the streamer once again gets confused about that puzzle. I remember when I was stuck there for like 10 minutes when I played this originally because I'm just that fucking stupid when it comes to sliding block puzzles. Hey, noise! That'll help out. This dungeon is really not that bad if you actually remember how to do everything. Have I? Except I'm missing something. 
Oh, you know what? I remember what it is. Take it back. This dungeon is dumb because of this one stupid specific thing. Besides the fact that you can flood everything and fuck yourself over. If you forget to grab a small key. And that thing. But by and large, this dungeon really isn't actually that bad if you can remember what to do. But, despite the fact that the hookshot is in that chest in the vanilla game, which you need the big key to get into, you don't need the big key to, uh, to get past it. means at some point, I'll probably find the big key, there's a good chance I will have to backtrack to there, open the chest, but we'll see. Depends on if I find the map and the compass by then. I guess there's a decent amount of unique items in this dungeon if I haven't found either by now. I've opened several chests. I don't think there were really any small keys in them either. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Chat? Gonna gamble. So I don't... I think there's one more small chest and it's in here. Alright, so, I think there are two item spawns left in this dungeon. One is the big chest, the other is the boss. I don't have the map yet, so either the boss has it, or the big chest does. I'm gonna go through, and I'm going to fight the boss. And, if it drops anything but the map... That means I don't have to go back and open the big chest. If it does drop the map, then I'm going to have to come back into this dungeon, get to the big chest, and open it. So let's gamble. Okay. I don't remember if the Master Sword takes two hits to hurt these things, or just one. Still haven't found the silver arrows, which would have been real nice. Um, I'll do Misery Mire just because it's less of a pain than Ice Palace for me to find everything. I'll hope for the silvers in there. Got him! Nice! Alright, I don't have to go open the big chest. Look at me, actually thinking ahead and whatnot. Wow, it's almost eight. Alright, so we have a little over an hour to finish this run. That might actually be possible. I do have two of the most annoying dungeons, in my opinion, to do. Which is Misery Mire and Ice Palace. I honestly prefer Turtle Rock to them. Turtle Rock's long as fuck, but... And at least has a lot of items to kind of make up for it, and it's fairly linear compared to the mess that is Ice Palace and just... Misery Mire just sucks. Everything deals so much damage, it's convoluted to move around in. I feel like there's a lot of backtracking. Alright. What medallion do I need to get in here? Because that determines whether I need to get all the medallions or not. I have that one.
forget if in the base game you do Misery Mire or Ice first. I know you have to do Swamp before Misery Mire because, you know, I just used the hook shot. Uh, that's actually annoying I got hit because these... The Wiz Robes die in a... They only have one health, so even the sword beams will one-shot them, which is real nice. Alright, that one just got fucked up somehow. Ow. Can they stop me? I mean, means a little. I believe this is the boss that Keepy can't handle. The flashy one. Aha! Got a little bit of health. That health was all I needed, you fools. Unless you do more than one heart of damage. In which case, you fuck. Heart? That was a uh, good prediction on its part. Nope, I'm just gonna go. I think Kane draw uses less MP than the robe. Good answer. I like that answer. I don't remember if I have the red blue switch in the right spot. I don't remember if I need it to be blue or red. Annoying. There is anti fairy in here. If I am careful. I can do that. I do have a potion as well, but... but that is to be used for a boss, if I can help it. Would not have been smart to use it there, since I'm real close to the exit of the dungeon. Or the entrance, I should say. Dumb of me, I'll admit. Hey. Wrong red thing in my inventory, I be. Actually, low on MP. I'm used to having the half MP. Nice! I had to switch in the right spot, and that, that happens to be the last pizza heart I needed for that heart bit. So, completely unnecessary, and if I had forgotten to do that, nothing bad would have happened. Oh well. I think this is just a way to see that one chest? I think? I actually need MP. Hmm. That's not good. These guys tend to drop it, though, at least. Mm, I could still use some more. You give some? Yeah, you do. I pushed that one to the side. That's pretty funny. I didn't know you could do that. Like, pushing the block pushed him. That's... I don't 
know if I've done that before. Alright, my desktop background did change on that one. Trying to use the lamp to save a little bit of MP, because you do have enough time to use it. Eating the damage! Nope. He got stuck in the block, like a dummy. Alright, this takes forever. remember what it would be good to just have on the select thing right now. Alright, I have the mirror shield, which is interesting. Can't go that way. Hello. I guess I could just have it on magic powder. Not the worst idea. Um, let me see. I think there are two... Yeah, there's two small chests I can do still. There's... Well, I'll be walking by one for this, so I might as well do the one here. Oof, barely got that. One is... In here. I don't know what the point of having that door closes. So either this is gonna have the big key or the chest over by the big chest has it. Oh. So it's the chest over by the big chest. So I should have looked there first. Have I found anything really important? I don't think I have. A mirror shield, but who cares about the shield. And a big key. Ow. See, so much of this dungeon isn't even really that hard, besides all the insane damage I feel like everything here deals. By that I mean the whiz robes, because they're 90% of the enemies. But, uh, just going around in it is annoying. Something like one-way path is another nonsense. The compass. Do I have the map? You do. Okay. The boss will at least give something. Don't know what it will be, but... Man, the moment this stream is over, I am going to eat so much food. Hungry. But I want to try and finish this run. It's worth it. Uh, I need to go this way. Then I need to go up here. Then I need to jump down. Then I need to go here. I need to go around all this nonsense. Throw a fairy at you. Throw the magic powder at you to get a fairy. Avoid the random spike pit that's there just to... Be rude, really. Go through here. I am now about halfway through the dungeon. Uh, fuck it. Oh yeah. I always... And you need the red cane to beat this place. Which I think you might get here in the vanilla one. But it's something I always forget about because I think you just literally need it for that one block right there. So yeah, then this would definitely be past uh, Ice Palace, because you don't need, the game doesn't really expect you to have it for Ice Palace. You can get it for it, like I think I did in my playthrough. Oh, is there a switch to hit down here? Am I going to have to go? Okay, yeah, it's up here. That's right. That's going to be so upset. Yeah, I, th I think I got the, uh, the red cane before, uh, Ice Palace in my playthrough. So yeah, I think I 
the kind of skippy thing you can do without with it. Who knows, though? That was so long ago. Ugh. Oh, it's nice being able to see. Let me unload you. Damn it. Oh, I took damage, so I got rid of it at least. It's also great because this boss really isn't that hard either. It's like a little annoying. Just in case. And it does hurt the eyes. I'll give Kiwi that. It's not being a wuss about not liking the flashing of this boss. Because it is fairly egregious. Magic spot? Come fight me like a man, you stupid eyeball. Right, that's probably the best spot to stand on. I just happened to get it just right. And silver arrows, that makes this fight so fast. Jeez, I already. There we go. Give me silvers. <sighs> Fucking small key. And there's not a lot of unique items here, I think. It's mostly small keys. Ice Palace, all that's left. Yup. <sighs> Hurry before the mirror magic takes me back. Hey. To beat Ice Palace, beat Ganon's Tower, and find the Silver Arrows and beat Ganon. That's totally doable. What's... hold on, actually. What's in there again? Could not remember. I knew that was what was there in the base game, but you know. Yo, welcome back, Awful. You've missed a surprisingly good run so far. I just need to beat this dungeon and find the Silver Arrows. Then we can go beat Ganon, besides, you know, the dungeon leading up to him. Which, there are... There are, like, 22 chests in there, so there is definitely a chance the Silver Arrows are in there. But again, if I can get to Ganon without the Silver Arrows, he'll just tell me where they are. Which is awfully kind of him. Please hit the button. 
Now the question remains whether I can remember how to get all the chests in Ice Palace. Which is definitely a good question. Because I don't know if I can. Tell me that's close enough. Damn it. Take that, Papyrus. See you yeah that. Nah, I don't need that. Oh god, this room. I hate it. Now if only I was a good runner and you know how to do this skip. I, I wanna give it a couple tries just cause. I can even remember how you're supposed to do it. argue that the uh, the physics on that are not good. Like, I feel like the ice physics are better than the physics of those little triangle edges. For heart. Also, that 669 rupees! Nice. This is something you can push or not? I don't think it is. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Right here. I think one of you also. Aha! That's what I usually forget to do. Damn it. No big key, though. Might as well bomb that. No, no real reason not to. Doesn't exactly waste a huge amount of time or anything. The floor starts falling here. That'll take me down to the next floor. When I mentioned the ice physics were better, I did not mean that they were good, just that they were not as bad. For, uh, for clarification. Alright, I could really use a small key from somewhere. I guess if I need to, I can go into the big chest room and... Uh... Fucking just avoid the big chest! Which would be an upsetting to have to do. I don't like how much you're into my sprite, but not in my hitbox somehow. I always mistime that. Jew! There. Ow. 
turn into I always have to sometimes and again RNG Jesus has been fairly kind to me so far so that'd be surprising I think that's a fake crack in the wall because this game is flawless and not terrible yep might ask yourself what's the uh what's the visual difference between that and a real cracked wall that you're supposed to blow up the bomb and the answer is that there isn't a visual difference which is why this is a bad game a lot of the time i would say a surprising amount of time this game actually does things that are just flat out bad game design they not even like its age or anything Oh, I forgot you were there. Thank you. Alright, I've got a small key at least. Come on, Pappy. Short for pirates. Oh wow, that was my last bomb. That actually would have been annoying. If I didn't have that. I guess you also have a small key. Nope. Hey! I can keep fairies now. That's not terrible to have. All right, there's the big key. I think it would be faster to go this way to get back to the big chest. I could be wrong. Oh, you went right after me, didn't you? Hey. Oh, of course one of you was right there. Yep. Is yellow one of the squirtle lines, like, shiny colors? Of course, I have to actually use a bomb here. Glad I have one, then. Glad I have two. Otherwise, I might have been boned right there. This one of you will drop a bomb for me. I think that's randomized. Now, that skull might actually have a bomb, but that still means you could fuck yourself. Ooh, don't have a bomb for you two. I don't know how this will work, but we can try it. Am I gonna have to leave the dungeon and come back with some bombs? Shit. Welp, that's annoying. BRB real quick, fam. If I buy a bomb capacity upgrade, will you give me the bombs, or are you an asshole? Hey! Thank you. I'm glad you aren't an asshole. Quick fix! Let's get back into it. I, uh... Take it back, actually. Really quick. I need at least enough MP to kill that first little ice guy. Oh, 
What an annoying thing to need right now. There's a shop down here, maybe. It'll be nice. Actually. MP refill info. Shit. Ah. Alright. This will just be a bit of a restock spot then. I haven't found the mushroom yet. It's not a bad thing. It's just noting it. Oh, green is just MP. I'm glad I never needed to use that then. Well, I'm here. I might as well fill up the bottle just like I thought I would. I, uh, I forgot Legend of Zelda. Green is magic. I was like, no, blue is always the MP potions. Except for in this one game and nothing else. Damn it. Well, this one game series. I got lucky then. Because I was definitely saving that for the middle of a boss fight when I would need to heal. It would have been embarrassing if I just refilled my MP and then died. If I was fast, I'd be able to swap at least to, like, one of the invincibility items and keep myself alive, but it still would have been... Boy, would my face have been red. I've got some extra bombs now. I probably should have bought an arrow capacity upgrade while I was there, just in case, but, uh, you know, that takes time and effort. By that, I mean, I just wanted, I wanted to get back in. Whew! Alright. That went well. That was probably the best I've ever done in that room. I think that took about exactly as much time as if I had just walked right there. I didn't think the sword would reach. What I get for goofing? Yeah, and of course, now that I've left the dungeon, that has a bomb right there. All these MP refills, since I don't need it. Ow. Yeah. That room is so much harder than it looks, and I don't know why. I think the moving floor moves you a lot faster than it looks like it will. I don't mean like that one specifically, I mean all of them. Well, that room's got the annoying spike. Spikes placed everywhere. Right. Now, I am almost back where the big chest is, which is where I was heading to. I forgot how far up I was when I was like, I think this way will be faster back to the big chest. Come on. Oops. Leave me alone. Give me this. Fuck. Oh, wow. See, if I was better, I would remember where the remaining chests were because anything left now is a unique item. Worth. Please go.
I feel like I usually don't have this much trouble with this room. That block is just... What? Why did I go... I... When I slammed back right, I don't think I pushed right. The physics of these ledges never make sense. I may or may not have needed that. I think I'm back to where I've basically already been. Yeah, I think I've been everywhere now. I should just head for the, uh, the boss room. Have I gone left right here? I think so. I think that's the one that is, like, right above the, uh, big chest. So for anyone wondering why I grabbed the wall right there, if you start to dash, it completely stops your momentum on the ice, which is absolutely wonderful. Apparently, if you're close enough to a wall, you'll just grab the wall instead, and that doesn't stop your momentum for some reason. When really, you'd think if going faster would not slow stop you, but grabbing and holding onto a wall would. Okay. So I don't think I needed that small key, except for the fact that I went back upstairs and used it. I don't think I needed to go back upstairs. In fact, actually, it would have been way better if I didn't, because then I would have the small key to go to the right. I don't think anything important is in there, though. If I'm lucky, at least. Can she's through? I don't think a chest is right there. I could be wrong. Actually, I don't think I've missed a small key, so if there is a chest in there, it probably just has the small key. So unfortunately, I still have not found the legendary silver arrows. Which is a shame. Because boy would they have been nice. By that I mean I need them, so if I don't find them before I get to the cannon fight, I'm going to have to go on a quest just for them, and that is a damn shame. Uh, what am I doing? What is this boss fight? I need you. Tell me it's just like one more hit. One more bottle would have been nice as well. Yo, what's up, Cosmic? How you doing? It's times like this, I really wish I knew that glitch to beat Ganon without the silver arrows. I think it's like a real slow glitch, so. If you can avoid it, it's usually not worth doing, but, you know. Stone just finished Kingdom Hearts 3? Nice! Now they can do, uh, the Remind DLC. Yeah. Oh man, I hope I get to see them fight, you, uh, you know who. Yozora. I already basically said it. One person I know avoiding spoilers for that isn't here. But she is at Disney, having a lot of fun. Yay. Damn it! Couldn't have been Silver Arrows. <laughs> Yay.
So real quick, let's get another potion. Then I think the best way to go into Dark World for the final dungeon is Turtle Rock. Man, those potions are expensive. I always forget just how expensive they are. <laughs> Damn shame the flute doesn't take you to Hera. That'd be so nice. Uh. Um. Yeah, let's go this way. I can't wait till Ganon doesn't tell me where Silver Arrows are, and I just have to run around this entire game trying to find them. That'll be fun. But I swear he does! So, if he doesn't, I'm calling nonsense. I've seen him do it. I don't care if I'm on a harder difficulty now. Alright, 40 minutes. Beat the final dungeon. Yeah. That... That... Has varying, very... Times to how long it'll take. So, for anyone who doesn't know... No! Oh! This next dungeon, which is the last one of both, hopefully, this run, and the vanilla game... Would you fuck off? Thank you. Uh... There's a very long... Arduous, begin arduous beginning section to it where you try to find the big key to progress. Now, if you can find the big key quickly, it doesn't take long at all. The thing is, there are 22 chests that the big key could be in. So, how long this will take depends entirely how quickly I find the right one, those 22 chests. So let's see how this goes. Beautiful. Alright, I have all the crystals, I'm not crazy? Yeah. Alright. See you in a couple of minutes, Cosmic. Now, if I get lucky, the big key will be in the second chest, and the first chest will have sil silver arrows, and I can just go on my merry way. Uh, if not, you're probably going to be here for a little bit. Second best case is that... I'll grab these, why not? In case I need to buy another potion or something is that the, uh, I immediately find the big key, and I go fight Ganon, who will tell me where the silvers are. The other thing is I really don't remember this dungeon too much, so if I don't immediately find it, there's going to be some flailing around as I try and find where that to go. Alright. There's over a sixth of the chests here. Silver arrows! Alright. We are, uh, we are go mode. Now I just have to get to get in and fight him and win. How long the rest of this takes depends entirely on how well I can fight Ganon, and how long it takes me to find the big key. Ooh. 
trick ski. Tank for damage. Bombs. Damn it. Alright, wise guy. Ouchie. Oh, come on! Please, no die. Die would be mean. Something that's nice to know, and I constantly forget. Uh, is that you can touch those things along the body, you just can't touch the front of them. Shit, I missed a small key somewhere. Honestly. Okay. So there's no need to open that door. Got it. Can do. Oh, this room sucks. Goodbye. How many chests have I opened? At least six. I think seven or eight. So a lot of them. Oh no, I used the key! Shit. I don't want to do that. Please go. So I've done at least six, because that first room had four. That room had two. Two plus four. Six. If you take Calc 3, you too can do math. This quickly and easily. It's something I enjoy about once you get into the harder math in school is I feel like the teachers that need the most help with help with basic arithmetic are like math professors in college. They just either don't care enough to do it, or they're so busy thinking of something way harder. Also, I should probably look into going into that door at some point. Yeah, let's actually do that now, before I use up too much of my MP. The hell is in here? Chest? No. Oh, why? No point? Got it. Oh, fuck. Did I have to kill everything to get out? Don't know how I managed to do that, but okay. Bit of MP at least. Come on! 
blow up. Thank you. This dungeon doing nothing but wasting my time. Check this room. Oh, I didn't have enough time yet anyway. It took too long, apparently. <laughs> what? You could at least pretend to push it. And I wish killing that just made it go away. There. Found the first block at least. What the hell did that accomplish? Oh, I get to the other ones. going to die trying to figure this out. Alright, weird. Not hit up there. Alright, I'll leave him. I don't even have enough MP for this now. Every time I use that for mana. Alas. What happens when you don't find the mana upgrade, I guess? Whew, made it. Barely. Fuck you. Hands out, not after me anymore. That'd be nice. Ooh, barely. Not annoying at all. Chests. Please, big key. End my suffering. Spoiler alert, it didn't. Yeah, I figured. Found a small key and eat those. Still, apparently. Shit.
<laughs> Somehow did it. Did the game expect me to be going the other way? I think it does. Shit. I do have a... No, I don't have a key now. Maybe if I move that block, it'll spawn a walkway over there. Let's go. Oh, wait! Aha! That was the thing. I was confused as to why it would think I... As to why I would have to come the other way. No, I've got, like, no MP game. trying to think of how many of the chests I've opened at this point. So I think it's most of them. Alright, I cannot go that way. Don't know if there's a chest in there. I don't have the big key! No! Well, that was a goof. Guess who gets to uh, walk all the way back now? Guess who doesn't have enough MP to walk all the way back? Shit. Oh. See, what stopped me from going this way? I think it was... That key that I missed right there. That one I just picked up, that one, the one I was missing right there, that was what was kept keeping me from going this way. Now that I have it, I can go this way, which is nice. So I can't go the other way. <laughs> That's what fucked me. That's what made me mirror all the way back to the start, was that key right there and that skull I just picked up. God damn it. I hate. Do I have still 10? Alright, that's not too bad. Do need the MP. So much more sense. Right here. Also, yeah, there's no treasure in here. Which means, had I gone right at the big chest instead of the way I did go, I probably would have made it out. Hey, this is the right way to go. I don't know that, because that's this bit right here. I was hoping for a little more MP from that skull. Got nothing. Uh... So there is... Another door to my right here. 
over there, which I think I might need to get to. Yes. I know you can bomb jump across that right there. Worth it. Aha! I did it! I did a bomb jump! Look at me! I'm one of them speedrunners now. Look, ma, no hands. I choose this hole to fall down, if it lets me. If it, if it doesn't, then, you know, it doesn't. Down here? Let's go. I do know that I have to go up right here. I forgot in the randomizer that this second fight is actually optional. If you don't go up right here, then you fuck yourself and you have to come all the way back. The single arrow. The amount of rooms it can be at this point is very small. Fuck, how do I get back up to the top right? I don't remember. There's a warp pad somewhere. Please be in here. I don't remember how to get back up to the top right. Please, I've opened most of the chests. Have I not suffered enough? A little closer, please. this way. It's annoying I have to do this every time. TBH. Is it up right here? I'm going to have to retrace all of my fucking steps. Because I missed that one key. I got confused. Oh, this randomizer was so kind to me the whole way through until the very end. What a shame. And I was dumb to go along with it. I did nothing. on the right that took me over there? I think it did. Whoops, that didn't explode. Waste of a bomb. How did it... Disagree heavily. Welcome back, Cosmic. 
Things, uh, things aren't going well. Oh, uh, that might be too close to the other one. Nope, made it. Things are, uh, things are falling apart at the end. Oh, that's here! I found it! Now I just have to go to the left from here. Somehow. I don't know why I keep pushing that. The chest is here. There's a cracked wall right there. That's what fucked me. Got it. Please spawn a chest. Please. So you see that one room I haven't gone to? It's uh it's got to be in there. And I don't know how to get there. It's got to be one of the random warp pads in here. not. How do I get up there? Well... What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to see if I'm misremembering, and if you can actually make a little bit of progress forward without the big key. You can. Maybe the big key's over here somewhere. And I just don't remember. Well, it untrapped me. I gotta... Just need to do that. Shit. 
Oh, I walked into it. Damn it. No! All that was for nothing. Well... As much as I hate to do it, if I, uh... If I don't find how to get into that one room, or whatever magical chest I missed, in like the next, uh, ten minutes... I think I might have to upsettingly uh, call it a loss this close to the end. I even have the silver arrows. If I could just find the big key, it would all be all about just going over and kicking Ganon's butt. It's literally all I have to do. Uh, I just can't. Oh, damn it. Now I'm stuck in here. I have to kill everything. All of my magic, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, hey, fairy. How nice. How rude. Oh no, the fairy despawned. I didn't think she would. Oh, that's a shame. this room I did not manage to fully figure out So much easier to figure out if those hands weren't here. Okay, this is definitely some kind of puzzle. Which, you know, duh, but I feel like it's definitely some kind of puzzle I have to solve. Let me rephrase that so that it makes a little more sense. the room and come back in, reset it a little. That did not reset it. Fuck. So leaving will reset everything but the puzzle I can fuck up? I, I hate you. This game. Well, win or lose, at least I'll be able to get food after this. I feel like those block hitboxes are, uh, fucky. To use runner jargon. Alright, asshole, leave me alone. Well, it seems to have accomplished nothing, which is a damn shame.
And then think about it, I forgot that you could pick up and throw the fire blocks. That's actually a way easier way to do that. I was silly. The fact that that is all lit up means that I have gone through all that. The room that is not lit up means I have not gotten to it. So clearly, this is probably not the way to go. Shit. And now I just can't. That is going to be it. No, oh, I don't care about the fairy. I just, I couldn't do it. I could not get through that. Wherever that last little treasure chest is. Uh, Ganon's Tower. Ganon's Tower Key. DM's room, top left. That's where it says the bow is. Oh, Ganon's Tower Big Key is in Tile Room. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Does that mean that if we go through here, and put this block down, right here, then go through this door, and then sit and wait in this room for longer than anyone would reasonably want to stay in here. God, this takes forever. I might not be able to live through this. It might kill me trying to get through. No, no. Yep. Hey guys, found the big key. Would never have guessed that. Would never have guessed that you just needed to wait in there and then eventually a chest spawns. Damn it. Well, I'll admit, that means that this run did actually beat me. It wasn't just me being dumb and couldn't figure out how to get to the one room. Oh, what a shame. I would have beaten this in two and a half hours. Which I think is faster than the one run I did manage to create. Ugh. Well, goodbye, YouTube. <laughs>